From the book of John, chapter 3, we read that there was a man from the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. This man came to him, Jesus, at night and said, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who has come from God, for no one could perform these signs you do unless God were with him. Jesus replied, Truly, I tell you, unless someone is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. The new birth is the most amazing miracle, and it happens to everyone who believes. I never tire of watching it take place. The grief-stricken man who bows before God and pours his heart out, and then tears begin to flow, and the deep sobs of repentance, then the smile The man looks up and his face is almost glowing. He knows he's been forgiven. But the new birth is much more than an emotional experience. Something wonderful has happened in the man's heart. His priorities and attitudes begin to change. In the book, The Life of God and the Soul of Man by Henry Skogel, the author proposed that Christianity is not orthodox beliefs nor is it an individual's performance, nor is it based on one's affections. It is life. It's called a new birth because something is brought to life. The Christian has something he had never had before, a new nature that is enduring, self-motivating, and love-generating. Henry Skogel was a young Puritan man in the 1600s. He was just 27 years old when he wrote The Life of God and the Soul of Man. Mr. Skogel died the very next year, but his book would have a significant impact on many theologians for the next 300 years. Another young man in the 1700s struggled with doing everything he could to make sure he was saved. He went to church and paid tithe and prayed and all that, but it never seemed enough. A friend of him gave him Skogel's book and it changed his life. That man was George Whitfield and his friend was Charles Wesley. John 3.3 became Whitfield's favorite verse and he went on to preach on the new birth more than 20,000 times. Someone once asked him why he preached so much on being born again, and he replied, because you must be born again. It's so easy to go through the motions without ever actually being saved. You can say the right words, wear the right clothes, attend church functions, even give your tithes and offerings, and still not be right with God. But why would you? Is God's life in you now? If not, it'd be so easy. The Bible says, whoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Don't wait another moment. Call upon God. 